Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Shane Carlson. I work in the marketing department here at Trav's Outfitter, and I'm here with Trav himself this morning, and we're gonna talk about uh, an array of things, but none more important than the Christmas season and what it means to you, Trav. For sure, well, first I wanna say thank you, Shane. This is awesome that you've put this together, and hopefully this will give some folks some insight as to kind of the heart of Trav's Outfitter. So, you know, the, the reason for the season is pretty clear. I, um, I don't, hold back on that. I'm, I'm very public about my, uh, about my walk with Jesus. Um, hasn't always been that way. I was raised in a, I was raised in a family that followed Jesus, but we mostly knew his name. We didn't, we weren't completely on the path of following him. Now my parents have been for years, but what I'm saying is when I was young, when I was really young, we knew who he was and, and we went to church, but, but we weren't intently following him like we are now. And, um, so that's the reason for the season. We know that in our world, um, we still have to sell something, right? I mean, that's just the, the wheels of commerce on this side of heaven still have to be greased. So we try to keep that in context, right? Um, or we try to keep it uh, in check, if you want to call it that. Um, how, do we, uh, how do we still make sure that everybody's paycheck is still good and we're able to make the bank payment, but yet how do we honor God and Christ with this season. So um, I think that, I think sometimes that's, that's lost. Um, it's, it just gets lost in the, in the noise of the season. And so, yeah, I would just, uh, I would just say that we want to be sure um, that if we're not following Jesus, that we might consider following him in this season. And if we are following Jesus though, that we, that we might not let the world drowned out the real reason for the season.